All right. Uh, love introducing your brand names of really good quality manufacturers. Uh, DeLonghi is a European company. DeLonghi is a manufacturer of uh, what they call common white goods. Over in Europe, that means all of your major appliances. Like if you've got a refrigerator, chances are it's probably a DeLonghi refrigerator. Uh, your wall air conditioner or your floor air conditioner, probably DeLonghi. Same with your microwave oven or your washer and your dryer. This is their small capsule portable heater. Now the white that you see on the screen, I apologize, that's already gone. That sold out quickly. I've got a sale price of less than $40 for a 1500 watt ceramic heater. That is the, the highest capacity allowable for a, a US heater that plugs into the wall. And because it's ceramic, it holds the heat, retains the heat, and is much, much more energy efficient than just a regular traditional electric heater. Sean Pickford is our DeLonghi representative. He's broadcasting live from the basement, uh, that warm snap we had last week, uh, it be over. <laughs> it's cold uh, it, again. It's, it's really over. Yeah, we're in the, the throngs of winter here. So uh, some of you need a little extra he heating. So maybe it's in a smaller bedroom. Maybe it's just watching TV at night. Maybe you're going back into the office in that cubicle that used to be nice and uh, cozy in the summertime. Not so much now. This is the perfect thing to do it because, as you said, Dan, it's 1,500 watts, ceramic heater does a fantastic job, but it's a nice small footprint. Yeah. You can put it on the floor, you can put it on tabletop, wherever you want to go. The cord that comes with it is six feet long, so that if you're not right near the outlet, you can do that. A couple of cool settings on here, so I'll turn mine on. And you can hear it's running. You'll notice that the little light is on here, so that tells you that it has power. There's a frost setting, so if the temperature in the room where you have it dips below 41 degrees, it automatically goes on, so build in thermostat. There's a little temperature gauge that you have here yeah. so you can adjust it. Sometimes with heaters, you get all or nothing. You, there's no in between. So with this one, I like that you get to adjust the temperature to your comfort. Uh, John, I'll tell you the feature that, that made me want this, uh, I know DeLonghi. You and I have been representing right. DeLonghi for a long time. Uh, yes, with that, that frost sensor on it. I have, a, yeah. I have a spring house, our old farm, uh, does not have city water. I don't have well water. They built the farm over an artesian spring, which is kind of cool. I've got bottled water coming out of my kitchen sink. <laughs> but I, my spring house has a pump on it. And when it drops below freezing, the pump freezes. Right. Which means I can't, I can't get water to the house. Yeah. So I would have to take like a propane heater out there or an electric heater and, and just run it all night just as a proactive measure to make sure it didn't freeze. With the DeLonghi, I don't have to do that. I take it out there, I plug it in, I set it, it, it doesn't turn on unless it dips below Correct. 41 degrees. So that yes. saves me money on energy costs, but it also means that I'm now self-sufficient again. And it's the same for people who have ever had pipes freeze at their kitchen sink on a cold February night. We're not even in our coldest month yet. You put this outside of that kitchen cabinet, leave the cabinet doors open, and that helps to make sure your pipes don't freeze at night. That's, that's an important consideration to relieving frustration as well as comfort. Yeah, there's also a tip over or safety feature yep. built into this as well as an internal thermostat. So if something happens where a blanket or a sweater or something gets put over, you know, you don't have to worry about it because that internal thermostat's gonna shut this off but also that tip over switch is gonna do the same thing. So I have you know, a couple of dogs, we have three of them. If they walk by and knock it over, I don't have to worry about it because it automatically turns itself off. So for me, that's instant peace of mind. I like that it stays warm to the touch, okay? So not too hot where in case a kid or an animal brushes up against it, you have to worry about it. So again, another peace of mind for me when it comes to a heater because let's face it, we've had the, you know, propane heaters with the open flame and stuff like that. And it, I was never easy running something like that in the house I agree. with this. Now I just, there's so much more comfort and so much more peace of mind knowing the safety features that DeLonghi has put into this. But also let's face it. I mean, you know, this thing's nice and small and compact yet it throws a lot of heat. Yeah. So 
that's what you want. I mean, you know, and I love that it has that thermostat because let's face it, a lot of times you can adjust where you want it to be and it's either way too much heat, not enough or somewhere in between. This, you get to dial it into exactly where you want it. And you can see with the light on here, watch when I pick it up, it automatically the light goes out. So this little tab on the bottom here is your reset. That allows you when this is pressed down and sitting down, it goes on. Watch when I take my finger off, yep. that light goes out. So I love that they build in all the safety features there. And let's face it, you don't stay in business for over 100 years if you're not building quality products. And DeLonghi has been bringing us portable heaters of this type in the United States here for the last 50 years. So they really know what they're doing and really put together something that's small and compact, powerful, with an adjustable thermostat. So a whole lot of features in a nice small package. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going back to work to cubicles that they forgot how chilly they could be during the winter months. Right. And, and listen, as, as I'm sure as nice as everyone's bosses is, with the cost of everything being up nowadays, uh, it's expensive to heat any building, whether it be the right. office building or your own home. Uh, our farm, we heat with heating oil. Yeah. That, that's been yeah, I, painful. So oh, I, I got my propane bill just the other day, and I looked at it, and I said, this has got to be wrong, but it's not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's the way it is. I mean, the cost of energy to heat our homes is so much higher. And all the experts tell you, look, to compensate for the one or two rooms where you need that heat, yep. don't crank that thermostat way up where you're walking around in basically your underwear because it's so hot in the rest of the house. Get something like this portable heater that you can take into that space where you need that yep. personal heating. And that's what this really does a great job of doing. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of being comfortable and, and really helping to keep costs down. Everything yeah. is expensive. This sale price, by the way, this is the first day that we've had it on the air at that price of $39.93. That price is going to be going away uh, at the end of the day on Thursday. So you're, you're getting the head start on it for everybody who's watching currently. Uh, we've got five months of payments at eight bucks, seven ninety nine. dollars Now, that can actually pay for itself by utilizing it as zoned heating. So right. here's a good example. Uh, Turn the thermostat down. Where is your main thermostat? Mine's in my kitchen for some reason. Mine's in my dining room, room we never go in. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's on one end of the house that we never spend any time in, yet that's where it's, you know, registering everything, which doesn't make sense. So where the bedrooms are on the other end of the house, if you set it really warm there, by the time it gets to the other end of the house, it's cold. So this doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's why I, I say put this on the, on the night table or a sideboard table near the bed, and instead of relying on your furnace, which is the most expensive appliance ever to use, this is gonna be able to do the job. And sometimes, we're not talking about heating from zero to 90 degrees. Sometimes it's a difference of one or two degrees of warmth that's the right. difference between comfort and miserable. Yeah, I mean, in our house, a lot of times, when we're not here, we set the thermostat to 68 degrees. But when you come home, that's 68 degrees, that's not warm enough. So two degrees at 70 degrees, I'm comfortable. So just like you said, it's not where you're saying, okay, I got to, this supplies all the heat to the room. Right. You're getting some heating to the room. You're just not getting enough, especially those rooms over the garage for whatever is reason, my daughter's room doesn't get heating and cooling. It's in the center of the house. It makes zero sense. Yeah. All I can think of is they didn't attach the ductwork somewhere in the wall. And at okay. this point, trying to figure it out just isn't going to work. So. Yeah. These are also portable if you're going somewhere and you're like, oh, yeah, we're going to, uh, you know, over to Bill's and uh, Lisa's house and we're going to spend the weekend, but we're above the garage and you know it's going to be cold. Take this with you. Plug it in. You can also use it in an RV. So a lot of people still like to camp even when it's cold and things. This is perfect for that RV because it's 1,500 watts, which still leaves you enough power to plug in a lamp or other things into that outlet. Uh, Sean, the house that... that Kelly and I lived in before we moved to the farm had a heat pump, which mm. even though the thermostat would say it was set at, you know, 70 whatever degrees, that the heat pump always felt chilly. It felt right. like it was blowing cool air instead of warm air, you know? Right. So yeah. little pieces of equipment like this are perfect. Also, here's another factor. It draws air from the back. Yes, it does. Heats it and expels it through the front. So if you set this, right next to a floor register, 
you're amplifying the heat that's already being, you know, warmed up from a furnace. Or yeah, you're that's able a great to way take to do it. air from that first floor and beam it up to a second floor because of the right. angle. It's a personal heater just makes sense. The reason why they use ceramic, by the way, is because the ceramic grabs that heat and holds on to it. it. Where yes, it we've does. all seen electrical heaters where you see the orange glowing wires. Yeah, and it's, re it's really nice and warm right in front of it, but three feet out from it, you yeah. don't feel any of that warmth. Yeah, so, so the ceramic allows the heat to be kind of a feeling of a deeper penetrating heat. And then with the air behind it, it spells it out into the room so that you really do feel a larger area of heating capacity. Under 40 bucks is a great price on this unit. Our QVC price was still very reasonable at, at 50, at 49.98. But think about that, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Save the money, pick it up. The white that you see on the screen, I apologize, that is gone. We shot the videotape before the winter season and the white sold out very quickly. Uh, but the gray has still been very popular, but I have less than 700 of the gray to go around now at this particular point. February is the coldest month of our year, not January. So yeah, I get this in preparation of that. And you know, it doesn't get warm around here where you and I live, Sean, until almost the end of April, start of May. Yeah, the seasons almost seem like they shifted a little bit. So it seems like, oh, yeah, winter started in December, but it really feels like it now. Yeah. So um, it, this is a great way to get that personal heating where you need it, whether it's in your home, whether it's in the office, whether you're traveling, something of that nature. So I like that it's a small footprint. I like that it. I like that it has the built-in safety features. Not only the internal thermostat, so that if something goes over the front of it and it gets too hot, it shuts off. But also in case it gets knocked over. So for those of you with kids and pets, this is a great way to have that. And it has a six-foot cord because let's face it, you can't always have it plugged in right where the outlet is. So you need that extra length. You can sit it on the ground, sit it on a night table, yep. and it's from a name we all know and trust that's been around for over 100 years. Real quick, public service and Sean will agree, any portable heater, any brand, make, model, never use an extension cord with it. Use the length right. of the cord that comes with it. That's it. Plug directly into the wall. Sean, yep, thanks for your help it. today. Uh, by the way. Sure, great to see you. That puppy is sure showing a lot of energy behind you. <laughs> that's the new guy, Murphy, so he's all puckered <laughs> out. He's cool. So, yeah. The other guy's sight are sleeping here and Bo's outside. So oh, that's we beautiful. We love our dogs here. <laughs> it's good to see you, my friend. Enjoy your Monday. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, I started off the program today at 11 a.m. with uh, a program that we call, uh, what do we call that? Uh, no, no, no. The trending on cue. Thank you. <laughs> One of the items in that show was, was the teeter hang-up, the inversion table. And I could only spend a few minutes on it, I want to spend some time. If you're someone like me who's had an issue with your back, just give me five minutes to show you why in this next hour that there is something that was made to help you. And that'll all be coming up in just a minute. See you in a few.